A brand new fire station in Portage is now in service, designated to be versatile and efficient and also keep crews safe. Our Lauren Coomer spoke with the chief on what they had in mind when they started to build fire station number two. Lauren? Janice and Annie, the city of Portage's fire station two was the oldest of the three stations originally built in 1974. And while it's still in the same location, it's now more than double what it used to be and incorporates a lot of new technologies. The city of Portage's brand new fire station two just went into service in the beginning of October. We spent a lot of time. We spent about two years on the design of the station to make sure that we utilize this building to its fullest capabilities. It was a project total of $6.1 million through the city's capital project improvement fund. And the first fire station they've built since 1994. We wanted to make sure that we had a building that was going to last a long time, was aesthetically pleasing, uh, looked at various lead technologies that are out there, green technologies, and tried to incorporate as many of those for this building. The new station is 18,000 square feet, more than double the size of the old building, adding an extra bay for equipment. It also includes a separate area where crews can clean off their gear after fighting a fire to prevent the spread of carcinogens. Dirty room is an uh, area that we have set aside, so after a structure fire, after a major medical, we can take all this gear into this room. It's isolated from everything else, be able to do the laundering. And then we have a clean room where all their other turnout gear is located at. The new station also brings in versatile training equipment that firefighters can train on year round, something they weren't able to do before. We actually are able to do some ladder training as well as high angle uh, training inside that hose tower, which we couldn't do before. One of the other things where uh, we have a tech technical rescue team here and we have a confined space, underground confined space. So we have three manhole structures that are all interconnected with different size diameter pipe. Also in the new design, the fire chief says they were able to rotate the station a full 90 degrees to have better access to the bays and also use the sun to help heat their water. We're not just planning for today, but we're planning for tomorrow. And um, I can tell you the growth of the city hasn't stopped. It continues going every day. In the living quarters, the fire chief says they were able to make both the bunk rooms and locker rooms gender neutral to accommodate their firefighters as best as they could. Reporting live in Portage, Lauren Coomer, Fox 17 News. All right. It's a cool new uh, fire station there, Lauren. Thank you.